G'day, g'day, g'day. Welcome to Aussie Vision. This is Craig speaking, and tonight I am joined by President of the Australian Let3 Fan Club herself. It is Colleen. G'day, Colleen. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you, Craig? I am surviving as best I can. I'm fighting a germ, uh, but we're going to push past that and hope for the best. I've got um, a tractor out the back to carry me out if I need it. Um, tonight, we're going to be talking about one of the more, you know, controversial acts of 2023. It is Let Tre with Mama Shchut. I hope I'm pronouncing the Shchut correctly. Uh, Colleen, you are a big fan of this song. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, Let Tre and also the song? Okay, so from what I understand, because I don't understand Croatian, but from what I understand, they're a Croatian kind of punk group with roots in kind of like vulgar kind of provocative performances, which I should say is nothing new in punk. Mm -hmm. But as well, they're very quite progressive in them supporting both women's rights, LGBT rights, being credit critics of things like Vladimir Putin, conservative <laughs> politics, and also fighting for nature conservation. And they're quite big in the Balkans, that's correct? Yeah, that's, yeah, they are quite big in the Balkans and I think that's what helped them in a way, Windora, mm -hmm. as well as with the kind of visual delights that they gave us with, for better or worse, their visual delights. So we have the military uniforms with the body suits, with the carnations in the bottom area. Yes, um, I was wondering how you were going to describe that, but we'll, we'll accept that. That's family friendly. Um, <laughs> let's have a chat. We can chat about the staging later because um, I think it's very much relevant to how this is going to go with the televote and jury, which is, of course, what we're here to talk about tonight. Yeah. So the Aussie Vision team have been away and we've all put in our rankings, um, a score out of 10, both for televote appeal and for jury appeal for all of the songs this year. And Croatia, so let's see, for the televote first, we're going to start with here. Uh, they received a score of, drumroll please, uh, 6.88. Now, for context, that is seventh in their semifinal out of the 15 songs in that semifinal, and then 14th overall out of the full field of 37 songs. Mm -hmm. Now, Colleen, what's your initial reaction to that? Do you think that's fair, too high, or too low? Well, my initial reaction, taking out just the Aussie Vision opinions, is thank God this is a televote only semi final. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and why is that? Because I think that while it could do very well in the televote, it could also do one of two things do exceedingly well beyond expectations or bomb but for the jury itself I see nothing but bombing yes I was going to say something similar in the sense that I think there's two theories on how this will do with the televote there's the people who think the televote is going to vote for like anything that looks a bit silly in camp and ridiculous on the stage and they will just throw points at it and then there's the people who think that this is going to flop with the televote because it's just so like in your face and strange straight off the bat and they're like people are going to switch off and not go for this of those two camps i know you really like this which of them do you think is more likely in this case with the televote specifically and why well i have seen people comparing it to possibly having a tranletzel result mm -hmm. which is moldova last year mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i don't see that being the case specifically the only similarity that I really see is they're kind of on the older spectrum of the acts and they're linked to some form of transport. Mm -hmm. But other than that... <laughs> Very <laughs> specific, but also absolutely correct, can I say? Tractor and train. Yeah. But apart from that, Moldova last year was very happy and joyful, whereas this is more aggressive and angry. And I don't know whether that could possibly put people off. I will say I agree with that assessment. But 
something that this is going for it as well is that it's just very catchy, which I don't think people give it enough credit for. Like, I don't know any Croatian, but I know Mama Kupila Tratora at this yeah. point. And I can say <laughs> it, you know, like it's repetitive enough and it's catchy enough that you do sort of get it stuck in your head fairly quickly. Um, so, and that tends to be Telemo Bait. That's also what works for Moldova. Because everyone could do the hey ho, oh, let's go by the end, you know. Um, yes. So yeah. So are you to nail you down to one side of the fence? Do you think this will do well with the televote, or do you foresee a, perhaps a more negative result for let three? I think it will do well enough to qualify. Ooh. I also hope it'll do well enough to qualify. So it might be me linking my hopes up with my actual thoughts, but at the moment I do think it will do just enough. Interesting. I feel very confident about that, actually, but we will talk about that later. Let us talk about the j- potential jury appeal of this song first. Now, as with the Televote, the Aussie Vision team have been away and given this a score out of 10 in terms of jury appeal. And the score in this case is very long pause, extremely long pause. It is 3.25. 37 out of 37 on all the songs this year. (laughs) Now, Colleen, do you think that's justified? That seems very harsh. I'll tell you the truth. I did put it at jury appeal I did put at the lowest score interesting why I don't think that juries would appreciate this enough seeing as what they usually go for every year is on the more kind of mainstream appeal radio friendly side of the fence but slightly elevated than that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I was assuming that you are correct until like today. And the only thing that has made me revise that opinion very slightly is seeing the first lot of Euro jury results from our friends over at Eurovoir come out today. And Croatia actually got points from the Slovenian jury, um, which I hadn't thought about, but actually come to think of it, these guys were big all throughout sort of like the former Yugoslavia, like they're known throughout that whole region. And, like, they did win a jury in Croatia. So is it possible that they just get enough points from, like, Slovenia and Serbia and the other former Yugoslav countries to not get them high but pull them off the bottom? Like, they could end up with a sort of jury score of maybe, like, 30 points, which would do enough to pull them, like, sort of maybe the top half of the right-hand side. Do you think that's plausible? I think, yes, it is possible, especially from the Balkan countries, Mm. not necessarily for, like, your Swedens and your Norways and your Australias. Maybe (laughs) Australia, maybe Australia. Yeah, we like, I think we might actually give the points, but um, probably more on the telephone end, to be fair, rather than the jury. Um, I mean, can you see Monica from Play School giving this points? (laughs) She's been on the jury a couple of times at this point. Uh, but let's move to, yeah, Julie, perhaps not the greatest appeal for this song. But if we move to then to combining them and seeing how this will go, you said that you think this will qualify, but only just. So how do you think that translates once we get to a grand final setting? Do you see a good result for Croatia or are you seeing them sort of languishing towards the bottom? I think it's hard to tell at the moment with what we have Mm -hmm. it'll only come to light really once we see what they're planning for the stage because I think the staging will make it Mm -hmm. but luckily with national finals such as Dora you kind of have a guess at what the staging will be like Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think yeah I'm assuming that they're going to show up looking fairly similar to how they did in Dora because I don't know what more they can throw at it to be honest like I mean because there's what there's six of them in the group and then there's like the bald guy with the nuclear yeah. missiles so are they going to be able to have everyone on stage i guess but other than that assuming it's going to look similar yeah. how i actually feel very confident this will qualify i think it's going to get enough like just sort of people got at home you know the lol random eurovision 
voter at home at a party will vote for this. And then it's going to get there. And I think if you were going to pin me down, I would suggest that this is going to do similarly to someone like Jacques Houdek back in like 2013. Yeah. Yes, so I was quite surprised that Jack Hudek did as well as he did. But thinking back, that was in 2017 before Amar Pelos Deutsch won and gave us back the kind of foreign language appeal to Eurovision. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I also just tell him I just like this stuff. Like, some tell like not all televoters hashtag not all televoters but like <laughs> some televoters are really into this and that's why they're there and they will enjoy this and they'll think it's funny and it's going to get all the headlines and like i think it's just going to get not a massive televote not enough to win or anything but it'll do okay and i guess for some fans that's almost the worry like i feel like some of the reaction to this has been sort of inspired less by the song itself and more by the idea that this is going to take us back to like the bad old days of like, you know, 2008 or 2007, wall to wall, not from the entries, like dust in the turkey. Um, and like, yes, maybe, but I don't think we're ever going to go back to the days where something like that can get way up the top of the leaderboard. I think there's very much a sky or like a ceiling to how well this can do. Yeah. Um, so. If I'm going to pin you down to a number, where do you think this is landing in the final, Colleen? Either the very bottom of the left-hand side or the very top of the right-hand side. Yeah, so about the same. So 13th, 14th, something like that. 100% agree. Do you have any last comments you'd like to make out let three before we go, Colleen? Yeah, sure. Um, I'd just like to say that even though the fandom specific social media side doesn't really see as much worth to it as I think the televoters will mm -hmm. because criticisms of it have been that it's loud it might not make sense other songs that kind of received similar criticism but didn't qualify just because of juries included like Igranka mm -hmm. and Finland 2015 that came 10th in the televote yeah no there's a real I think fans are a bit blind sometimes to the appeal of this sort of stuff and it would not surprise me at all to see this doing quite a bit better than people are judging it at the moment but that's what we think here at Aussie Vision but you may have your own opinion so please if you disagree with us or if you agree with us Puddle on down to the comments below and let us know what you think of Letri and Mamash. Colleen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you. Adrian, no worries. And we will see you all very soon. Cheers. Bye.